Hiya, anyone left alive out there? No idea if you are or ain't. Well, the idea was I was going to make something in my workshop today. And I got out here and I just thought, I ain't got a clue what I'm going to do. I am decorating indoors. Uh, and I've come across a few obstacles which I ain't thought about yet. So, couldn't really get me around it. So, I wrote a poem. I'd never written anything before, so it's probably rubbish, but uh, I thought I'd do it anyway, and I'm gonna read it, so. So here it goes, it's called The Coronas. Right, self-destruct springs to mind as a new man-made virus is lurking behind. Creeps through your airways and kills who it can, this horrific disease that's created by man. Developed in labs and let loose on the world, putting victims through hell is the latest word. The evil virus that's killing mankind causes loved ones to leave us alone and behind. All hope is lost as we draw our last breath. Its only aim is to cause sudden death. And what for our heroes that stand up and fight and risk their own lives with this virus in sight? Advice for the public, stay in off the streets unless you get hungry and go out for eats. Stay home, hide for as long as you can. No one go out while we're all on a ban. Thousands and thousands have been taken in vain, spread through the masses by buses and train. Jet setting yuppies and rich traveling folk carelessly pass it to woman and bloke. The children, our future, are also at risk, thanks to the scientists and the Petri dish. Disruption, confusion is the lesson today. No, you can't go outside and run and play. No school for a long time, well that's okay. We can just stay at home for another day. Unite as a family, stay safe and stay strong and wait for the fix by the ones who did wrong. Sit back and wait until the cure is in hand. Don't think of the things we had previously planned. Move on and forward in this altered world as school didn't teach us the lesson we've learned. Well, doom and gloom. Hope you like that, because uh, I've never written nothing before, like I say. So, uh, a bit of chopping up wood, I suppose. It took me about an hour, like that. God, that's hard work, this writing. I don't know about all that reading and writing. Oh, well. No wonder the kids find it so hard to learn. Or is it just me trying to teach them? That's probably all it is. Anyway. I hope you're all staying safe, stay alive, and uh, hide. <laughs> and thank you again for all the brave souls out there that are fighting it. Like, because I don't know if I've got the guts to do that, mate. Uh, there you go. But it's terrifying times. So, I hope you all stay healthy. Right, and uh, hold out and hold out as long as you can. <clears throat> and hopefully, one day we'll all get through this. And we can watch our kids grow up and get married and have kids. So, otherwise, it's all been worth nothing, hasn't it? But there you go. On an happier note, have fun. Go and make something. Do an hobby. Look after your kids and your missus. And uh, just stay alive. See you soon. <laughs>